Hello and welcome to the Big Vote. I'm Nishchita. In this bulletin, we bring you all the election updates of the day. And first up today, Seemandra went into polls for the last time as part of United Andhra Pradesh. But the sentiment that was witnessed in the 10 districts of Seemandra was quite in contrast to what we saw in Telangana. It was Galata Galore. Here's what happened. A wave of violent incidents at polling booths, largely due to fierce clashes among the YSR Congress Party, TDP and the Congress blotted the key elections in Andhra and Royal Sima regions. Clashes were reported from Wise Jagan Mohan Reddy's stronghold, Kadapa, Chittur, Karnul, Guntur, Anantpur and West Godavari districts. <laughs> EVMs throwing up technical glitches continued to trouble the polling staff at several places for a few hours. This happened despite the Election Commission's reassuring words that what was witnessed in Telangana will not be allowed to repeat in Seemandra polls. Reports of defunct EVMs hampering the voting also came in from East Godavari, Vijayanagaram, Srikakulam, Krishna and Karnul districts. Electorate in a few colonies of Kakinada and Rajmundri in East Godavari district came up with a stunning protest, boycotting the elections. They abstained from the voting process as their way of protesting against the constant neglect by successive governments over the decades. YSR Congress party workers unleashed a reign of terror in Chittur district with their targeted attacks against their rivals and even the polling staff. Tension prevailed in Nadavaluru of Ramachandrapuram Mandal when a group of the Jagan party attacked the polling officials. Even the media personnel were assaulted and their OB vans and equipments were damaged when they went there to film the goings-on. Activists of the YSRCP and the TDP clashed in the streets near two polling stations in Karnul town, prompting police action to restore peace. The two traded charges of rigging votes against each other and began attacking each other. The police had to resort to caning to quell the feuding groups. The incident created panic in the vicinity with ordinary voters running around for cover. Polling was suspended for a while as a result of the incident. Street brawls between the YSRCP and TDP men were also reported from Gudipadu and Rudravaram of Guntur district. Police stationed at nearby polling centers were rushed to these places to restore order and allow smooth polling. A gunman of a YSRCP candidate sustained grievous head injuries in a fight that erupted from a petty dispute at a polling center in Raipalam of West Godavari district. Kadapa district witnessed maximum violence on the poll day. Police fired two rounds in the air in Devagudi village of Jamala Madugu Assembly constituency after followers of YSRCP candidate Adina Raina Reddy attacked a police party. The incident happened when the police party led by Assistant Superintendent of Police Appala Naidu visited the polling station in the village. Trouble broke out when Adina Raina Reddy's son Sudhi Reddy took exception to the policeman entering polling booth. As tempers ran high, the villagers launched a bloody assault on the police party. A police vehicle was completely damaged in the incident, prompting the cops to fire two rounds in the air. In another incident in Gori Genuru of the same constituency, TDP nominee Rama Subba Reddy became the reason for a clash with the YSRCP. Villagers and the YSRCP men accosted Rama Subba Reddy when he approached the polling booth in the village. The police remained mute spectators even as the two sides fought a pitched battle right in front of their eyes. With the situation going out of control, the gunmen of Ramasuba Reddy fired a few rounds in the air to quell the attacking mobs. Veteran Tollywood actor Mohan Babu and his actor son Vishnu cast their votes in Rangampete of Chittur district along with their other family members. Among the other film celebrities were actor-producer Murli Mohan who is contesting the Rajamundri Lok Sabha seat. YSRCP star attraction Roja exercised a franchise in Nagari town from where she is seeking election. Among the political celebrities were former Chief Minister N. Kiran Kumar Reddy. He cast his vote in his native village of Nagari Palli. APCC Chief Raghuvira Reddy was seen voting along with his family members in Neelakantapuram of Anantapuram district. Durga Prasad for News 9, Hyderabad. And well, it was an eventful polling day in Amethi as well as the candidates slogged it out till the very last minute. Here's what happened in Rahul Gandhi's step. Take a look. Busy D-Day for candidates in Amethi. 
A Methi Lok Sabha constituency has certainly been a hotbed of electoral politics this fall season. As the Gandhi family bastion voted today, the three-way fight between AICC Vice President Rahul Gandhi, BJP's actor-turned-politician Smriti Irani and Aap's Kumar Vishwas seemed all the more evident. Rahul Gandhi visits Amethi on polling day. Yes, this is one of the reasons why Amethi's three-way battle was made all the more eventful today. AICC Vice President and Congress's Lok Sabha candidate Ram Amethi went on a poll booth touring spree for the first time in the three elections that he has contested so far. Although Amethi is seen as Rahul Gandhi's fortress, the Smriti Irani and Kumar Vishwas challenge seems to have alerted the Gandhi sign enough for him to visit the constituency on polling day. Exuding confidence, Kumar Vishwas was quick to claim brownie points. <laughs> Rahul apart, Smriti Rani and Kumar Vishwas were also seen sweating it out on the D-Day. Rahul, who had put up a massive show of strength alongside his sister Priyanka, said that his goal was to strengthen the democracy as he made an appeal to people to come out and vote. My focus लोक तंत्र को मजबूत करने का है ज्यादा से ज्यादा लोगों को वोट देना चाहिए महिलाओं को युवाओं को यह मेरा लक्ष्य है रॉयल एंडोर्समेंट फॉर राहुल राहुल गांधीज कैंडिडेचर फ्रॉम द फैमिली स्ट्रांग होल्ड आल्सो गॉट सम एंडोर्समेंट अमेथी रॉयल संजय सिंह हु वाज मेड अ राज्यसभा एमपी फ्रॉम आसाम in an alleged bid to make things easy for Rahul, endorsed the AICC vice president. He exuded confidence that Rahul will have a thumping victory in the constituency. Oh, you can judge that he's not doing good work. It, it is public. It is public. People on TV are not satisfied. People on ground and in Amethi Lok Sabha, they are very happy and they are going to defeat all the opponents. And Rahul is going to be winner. One is a poet. They have nothing to do with Amethi. And Amethi has chosen, uh, elected and chosen uh, Rahul. They are going to elect again. Big pardon? Big margin. Big margin, thumping majority. Hotbed of politics turns hotbed of blame game. Amethi also witnessed some political blame game as the three cornered fight was fierce on the day of elections. While on one side, BJP Smriti Irani alleged violation of the model code of conduct by Priyanka Vadra's secretary, Aap's Kumar Vishwas alleged Congress was involved in poll booth capturing. We have also seen some of the officials who were Rahul Gandhi and their gang were in the same way. We have also said that they were not removed. Where there are the news of booth capturing, where there are the people who are in the same way, where there are the people who are in the same way, where there are the people who are in the same way, where there are the people who are in the same way. Now, what do they do on their own? Kumar Vishwas Kumar Vishwas further trained his guns at Rahul and said that even if the AICC vice president had come to Amethi to monitor rigging, he will lose by a huge margin. If Rahul Gandhi has come to rigging, he can reduce the vote to 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, Rahul Gandhi was not the only political heavyweight who faced the poet turned politician's wrath. Earlier in the day, Kumar Vishwas had also alleged that Modi, who raised his poll pitch for Smriti Irani on the 5th, had copied his speech. मेरे भाषणों को सुनकर भाषण बोलना अगर कोई सीखना हो तो नरेंद्र मोदी से सीखिए। मैंने यह सवाल उठाए थे नलगुप कहाँ गए? यहाँ की कॉलोनी कहाँ गई? यहाँ के सुलभ शौचालय कहाँ गए? उनकी सीडी सुन सुनकर यहाँ लोगों ने बोलना सीखा है अमेठी के बारे में। अमेठी बनारस से या लखनऊ से या on the whole, it was quite an eventful day in Amethi. With three confident contenders in the fray, people of Amethi have made their choice. So who will it be? Can Rahul get third time lucky from the family citadel? Or will BJP's popular face and ARP's poet dent his high hopes? We will know on the 16th. A News 9 report.